Hi guys, Nikki's here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and feeling good. Um, so today I'm here to make another video and mainly I want to share with you guys these wonderful products that I've been um, trying lately and it works. But first, I wanted to share with you something. So I have been doing a lot of research on natural remedies for GERD and I have found a lot of uh, really good information and a lot of uh, different sources that recommend different ways and different herbs that you can use as a supplement for your uh, daily diets uh, but the biggest thing though is still everywhere whatever the articles that I read any research they always stress about uh, diet so definitely stick with your diet that you're on whatever works for you keep doing those keep eating those food that works for you and stay away from those food that hurts you okay so um one thing is that when you do your research uh one one recommendation i have is that make sure that it's from a reliable source so for example um i found that a lot of articles for example from mayo clinic or webmd or from um like blogs of doctors like real doctors so those are reliable sources but then don't stick with just one though what i usually do is i read all of them and then that usually there's always some differences like some people will suggest uh for example eating apples and another person doesn't say anything about that so i think what i do is combine all the information that i get and then find the one that is common in all of those articles and then those i i feel that i'm willing to try so a lot of them um, i will link all the link down below because i went to different website and i found many good articles so um, i will link them down below so that you can try uh, reading them and the, you know read the study and maybe try for yourself like these supplements but those that i have tried and it works for me i want to share with you today so first let's start with um, supplements for GERD so GERD you know bef um, i made another video about this like dgl licorice Licorice is great. I all of the sources that I found, they all recommend licorice, DGL licorice. And another thing that uh, a doctor, Doctor X, said that, uh, especially for the licorice, you have to get the chewable type. So I know that before I mentioned that I like the capsule type better, um, but then I also got the chewable types, and I feel like uh, for some for some reason I like the capsule one, but the doctor actually recommend that um get the chewable type because when you chew the uh, that tablet the licorice it has to be mixing with your saliva for for it to work properly so i guess you know just follow that and i think i will start doing that from now on instead of buying the capsule i will get the chewable type even though i haven't used D dgl licorice in the past several months like three four months because i don't have um symptoms anymore i I've, I've been sticking to my diet so strictly that i don't have discomfort i don't have pain anymore so i haven't been using the licorice or i haven't had to use zantac or i haven't had to use any of the prescription medication just because i'm following my diet and it's working so well for me so diet is everything guys i can't stress this enough like stick with your diet and one thing about the diet is that um, one if one works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. So I have always, always, always been recommend you guys to keep a diary of your food that you eat. So if you, if you don't, eat, you don't even have to have a diary. Maybe use your phone, use your smartphone. Um, but just remember to type down like what you eat so that you can track if something happens for example if you go out to lunch today and you eat something from outside and say 30 minutes or an hour later you start to feel the burning the discomfort then i'm sure that it's probably from something you eat outside um, it's easier for me because i don't eat out as much now i cook all of my food so i know what i put in my food and if there's anything that irritates my stomach i know it right away but it's very good to keep a diary of your food um so yeah one thing um like I'm not a doctor, I'm just going by what works for me and I want to share everything that's going through with me so that you guys can um, learn from me and also just be better at uh, picking choices of food and uh, whatever it is out there. So definitely, diet is everything. 
knows what works for you and knows what doesn't listen to your body like listen to your body it's so important i cannot stress this enough again <laughs> but okay so let's start i forgot to mention this but i have been trying this uh it is aloe vera gel um i have been taking this for a couple of months now and it it works so well for me guys and it also very good for uh, people with ulcer in your stomach because it's so healing aloe vera like the big leaf that you see in the supermarket i used to buy them and just um, try to get the meat out and eat it fresh like that but it's really tricky because you need to know how to prepare it the right way for example when you cut um, the flesh of the leaf like sometime a lot of the time like there's like a um, good juice from it that is i think it's like a sap from the leaves the yellow one if you don't wash it completely off and you eat that it can gives you diarrhea so it's a little tricky and also it's like slimy it's hard to you know cut and prepare and you have to like wash it so many times with salt water to reduce the bitterness but if you if you don't mind doing that um eat that often that's really good because imagine like aloe vera is really good for burns right so if you burn you get sunburn you actually like get burned from fire you can just take some of that um, fresh leaf and rub it on and it's like uh, it has a lot of vitamin e and helps with the healing so imagine that like you eating that it's gonna help with healing your digestive tract as well so i don't want to deal with the leaves so i bought this supplement it works so well for me i take you have to take it when your stomach is empty so either um, before you go to sleep and don't eat too close to your bedtime so before i go to sleep i take two two gels uh yeah so they, they said take two soft gels one to two times daily on an empty stomach and it's been working wonderful i can actually feel that discomfort like going away so um this one you can take daily and on empty stomach to just uh or promotes that healing of your stomach lining and all that so try it and also when you shop um i recommend to buy in store better because i just don't trust like buying online like what if it's fake you know like, i uh, so i go to a store like vitamin store whatever the store around you go and get it in person i think it's better um, again i just don't trust buying things especially things that i ingest like eat I don't trust buying it online and also make sure that it also has a good expiration date because if there's supplement that doesn't have expiration date i just also don't feel like it's trustworthy all right so that is with aloe vera gel the next thing another day a viewer um, mentioned to me that have you ever tried slippery m and i was like what is that so i looked it up this is slippery m it's a bark from the slippery and tree anyway so when i looked it up the benefits of this sounds amazing sounds like it cures everything got like literally like ulcer ibs good acid reflux it's it's fixed so many problems so i decided to give it a try uh but what makes me wonder was that when whenever i do the research from all of those you know uh, reliable sources i don't see they list this as um one of their recommendation for natural remedies so i don't know why but um i will start taking this uh maybe tomorrow i just got it so i'm gonna try and let you guys know how it works um but again this is my to go right now i'm not taking the dgl licorice as much because i have the blood disorder so my blood is um kind of thin and it uh, i have a bleeding is disorder so licorice can also make that worse so i don't take licorice as much now but just sometime it's fine but also because i'm sticking with my diet so strictly i don't have any discomfort so um trust me try i know it's really hard to you know watch people eat all this delicious food and you can't but then think about it um this is the only trust me this is the disease that you can control you can control this by just eating better control yourself i know it's very tempting but you can control this something that is not controllable it's my migraine i cannot control whenever my my migraine comes and goes at all and it's so much worse than GERD. trust me so there's something that we can do about it then let's do it take care of ourselves better okay <laughs>
Um, so you know that doctors or whenever you do research, they always say that if you have acid reflux and GERD, try not to eat certain food. For example, they recommend you to stay away from like dairy products, so milk, cheese, um, chocolate, things like that. And it is true because, you know, actually a lot of people already have lactose intolerance, so they can't handle that. And also fats from the milk, uh, it's just really hard to digest and it can cause the bacteria growth in your stomach and makes your GERD symptom and reflux worse. Um, yeah, so I don't drink milk at all. I do drink milk, uh, almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk. And I just found something that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So I found yogurt. You know that yogurt is really good for you because it has tons of probiotics which promotes the healing of your stomach and also help you digest so much better. But again, it's the milk product so I'm, you know, a little bit not sure but I want to stick with that. So I don't really eat yogurt but I take probiotics but I still believe that it's much better if you can eat like take that from food like real food not just from a supplement so i found something guys oh my gosh it is from the brand so delicious and this one is uh completely dairy free made out of coconut cream and it tastes amazing it tastes much better than regular yogurt it has that sourness which, you know, there's a lot of probiotics in here and they list what type of uh, probiotics in here. So the culture, there's one, two, three, four, like five different types of um, bac good bacteria for your gut. So I'm so excited that someone invented this. I'm so excited. So they have different flavors and I try the regular one, like the unsweetened, just the natural flavor. And I just bought another huge jar right here because i love it so much so i don't know uh if this is available at, at another countries i'm not sure i really hope so because it's really good guys um but here in the u.s i bought this from whole food and whole food sell it was on sale for this one was uh five dollars and it's ooh, 24 ounces and then this little one was a uh, dollar fifty cent and this is a vanilla flavor i'm so excited to try it later but actually let me show you the consistency look at that it's creamy it's light it smells just like yogurt well this one has vanilla flavor so it's um the vanilla smell like kind of um cover the real smell of the coconut but i like the uh the regular the original flavors much better because i can taste the coconut um it's light it's not like overwhelming it's not like strong coconut but it's just like a hint of coconut and yeah so i think if you can find this definitely get this i would always prefer to get anything like all my vitamins and minerals and everything from food better than taking supplements because again I just don't really tr trust it 100% um, and I, I feel like your body just accept things as food better than like in a capsule form, you know? So try this if you can find it. I really hope you can find it. Google it if you can get it somewhere. Get it and try. Let me know how you like it. I love, I love this. And next we are going to the once supplement for um, IBS. So I recently found out that I have IBS and I've been struggling a lot with diarrhea and constipation and all those things and it's just it's just not fun so my doctor recommended to try this it's um a food it's a sub supplement and he said that it's not a medicine or anything it's natural it's it's just peppermint peppermint oil so when he first told me to try this i was very concerned because uh peppermint is the one trigger for um GERD and I did not want to try like for the longest time. It took me a long time to decide to try this. So I told him that, hey, my concern is that I have GERD, you know that. And um, peppermint is a big trigger for me. And he said that other patient of his tried this and they also have GERD and it did not irritate their stomach at all. So yeah, I bought, I bought one pack. It comes in a capsule like this. And then inside each capsule, there's like tiny, tiny, tiny little um peppermint oil i guess they 
dried up and these said to be ultra purified peppermint oil and so when i tried it the first time i was dealing with some diarrhea and stomach cramps so with ibs GERD is everything from your stomach through to, to your esophagus, like to your mouth. So from anything from here to like right here, that's GERD. And everything from your um, stomach, like the, the part where it connects to the small intestine, everywhere from there to the anus, <laughs> that IBS. So my whole digestive system is like messed up and it's very upsetting, but it's okay. I'm learning to deal with it and living with it. Um, so when I took this, um, the stomach cramps, I can instantly feel like the mint. It's like a cooling effect in my stomach. And then the after like 30 minutes, uh, close to an hour, I really like my whole stomach just felt like, oh, there's mint in there. It's so cool. <laughs> but um, it actually helps. The uh, pain, the cramps went away. It helped with my um, soothing, like when I have diarrhea. And also, it did not irritate my upper GI tract. Uh, which I was really worried about because my GERD symptoms whenever I eat mints before was really bad. So I don't know how, I, I, I don't understand how this is also peppermint that it didn't um, irritate my stomach. So, but if you have IBS, give this a try. So that is it for IBS because um, the, another thing is that that is how I deal with diarrhea and stomach cramps. But when I have constipation, one thing. Just eat more vegetable because it's all fibers. You need to take more fiber into your body when you have constipation. Um, and I can't think of any better way than just eat more vegetable. Eat those vegetables that has a lot of fibers. My favorite is, has always been kale. I love kale. It's so healthy and it's really good for you because it has like vitamin K, E, D, and tons of other things. And the fibers level in this in kale is amazing so what i do i just steam kale i eat a lot like when i'm constipated i just like double the amount that i have to eat so i eat three meals a day breakfast lunch dinner and every single meal i have to have meat vegetable a lot of vegetable if not one type i have i eat two types of vegetable every single meal so usually um, i used to eat broccoli and kale and then now i eat kale and zucchini and sometimes i'm add in some carrots as well so just there's so much you can eat when you have good just stay away from anything that makes it spicy or sour like all the greens vegetable you can eat um fruits you, there's limited amount of fruit that you can eat but again like eat more vegetable food is the only healthy way that your body will accept you know minerals and vitamins so eat more vegetable eat more like wholesome food don't buy food that is already pre-made because you don't know what they put in there um and yeah just be aware of what you put in your body and to be honest i wanted to mention this a long time ago but i i am i was like afraid of um i don't know people might get sensitive but at this point i just wanted to tell you the truth that um and the truth hurts okay and i had to deal with this too I have come to a conclusion that this problem that we have, GERD or reflux or whatever, it was our fault. We did something wrong. We ate something wrong or we was following a bad habit that forced our body to give up on us. So now it's responsibility to take care of it and try to heal it. That's the truth. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta take a water break. Oh, well, another thing guys so important that when you have acid reflux and GERD don't drink cold water i always have my bottle filled with half and half so not even half just a little bit of um, just make it warm because you know what when it's cold you drink cold water your stomach will get cramped uh, nobody likes cold thing thrown at them so try if you can try to drink warm water it doesn't matter even if it's uh, summertime warm water has so many benefits to your body like First thing in the morning and when you drink warm water, it just kind of slowly wakes every part of your body up, like especially your organ, your stomach. It's like taking a warm shower in the morning. So yeah, if you can, try to drink warm water. Not hot, not cold, but warm. And last but not least, I wanted to share with you guys something. So I have just decided this yesterday that I am going to cut out completely dairy products. Um, 
so you know that i don't drink milk and i don't really even um, eat yogurt but then one thing that i love so much is cheese i love cheeses and um the other day i had so much cheese that it gave me a migraine and migraine cheese is another cause of migraines not cause i'm sorry triggers for migraines and i was craving some cheese so i ate like so much cheese that the next two days i was in pain i had migraines for the last two days like i just gotten better like last night so um and i just feel like after eating so much cheese like my stomach just felt so full and bloated and it just didn't feel good so i decided that i'm going to cut out completely all the dairy so no cheese um uh, no cake because they use milk and cream and stuff to make cake um Mm -mm. oh yeah yogurt uh what else because i found this yogurt now so i'm gonna e eat this instead of like real yogurt that make from milk um and i think that should be very beneficial because a lot of people already have lactose intolerance and i i am a little bit not um all the time like i'm okay eating cheese but if i drink milk i get really sick as well so i don't really understand but i think for the next month or two i will try to cut out completely no dairy and see how I feel and I'll let you guys know also another thing I want to try is to try to cut out gluten as well so no bread anything that's from uh, wheat it flour things like that so that's a little hard for me because I love bread but after two months of trying no dairy I will start trying to cut out gluten as well to see how I feel maybe maybe it will help with my migraines and GERD symptom and all that and you know that when we have GERD doctors are already recommending like cutting out a lot of carbs so I think that that would be good but I'm not trying it right now because I want to try one thing at a time to see what a difference you know I can feel in my body and yeah okay guys so I think that's it for this video uh, I know that I said I wanted to share something about migraines but no I don't really have anything about migraines <laughs> because it's just medication and um, the best thing is that um, you just have to reduce your stress and over the weekend I was also really stressed about some school stuff and I got a migraine as well as eating way too much cheese um so yeah i'm gonna end this video here i also want to thank you all again for being so supportive and trust me you guys like are the reason why i am so much better at like not being stressed and like anxious because to be honest like everyone around me here in real life they people around me are, are healthy and they don't understand what i go through even the other day my husband was watching my video that i made about um, migraines and the ways i deal with stress and anxiety for the first half of the video he said that he just got so bored and couldn't relate to it because he doesn't have migraine he never had a serious headache so it was boring for him to listen about like oh you know what is a migraine the difference between you know cause and triggers and things like that so if if my husband thinks that then imagine friends and other people who are not even close to me they won't understand they even if they try to they they won't they can't and they will never be able to relate to me as you guys do because you guys unfortunately you have the same problems as i do and it's just amazing like since the last several videos that like you guys commenting you sharing your story and seriously i just feel so much better that like i have your your support and you know that i am here for you so if anything you know comment down shoot me an email anything i'll be here for you and again i just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and being there for me and just I, I'm just so happy to have this little family of mine on YouTube that we can relate to each other and tell each other things to hey try this if this work or not if I'm just so happy <laughs> I, I don't know how to ex express it but I'm just so thankful that I started doing this and I feel like it helped me so much with my anxiety and stress because I can come here I can open my heart I can just say the things that i can't say to other people around me here because they won't understand so thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and if you haven't click the subscribe button so you can be a part of this family it's a small family but we're here for each other so <laughs> all right guys um i talk way too much <laughs> i'm going to end this video here i hope you guys are having a great day and going to stick with your diet and maybe try um 
this supplement that I just mentioned, especially the aloe vera because it, it works. So try it, let me know how you feel, if you want me to try anything that you've heard of or if you want me to make a video about a certain topic, um, let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being there. See you in the next video.